Hello guys and welcome back to another video on Mind Musty. Today we're going to be solving Shakuntala Devi Puzzles to Puzzle You question number 9. The hour hand and the minute hand. We all know that the hour hand and the minute hand on a clock travel at different speeds. However, there are certain occasions when they are exactly opposite each other. Can you give a simple formula for calculating the times of these occasions? To solve this problem, first let's figure out what the question is asking us to solve. The question is asking us to find a formula to help us calculate when the minute hand and the hour hand will be exactly opposite of each other. For example, if the hour hand is at 12, then the minute hand should be pointing at 6. So first, if we think about how a clock works, the minute hand takes 30 minutes to get from 12 to 6. So this duration is 30 minutes long. If we add 30 to the number of minutes that we have currently, which is 6 or 30, and we divide by 5, we get 12. We get back to the same spot we were supposed to be at. In a more simpler way, if we just add 30 to 6 to this minute hand, it'll go back to 12. And if we divide by 5, we will know that the hour hand is supposed to be at 12, if the minute hand is at 6. This only works for the right-hand side of the clock. What about for the left-hand side? So why doesn't it work? So if you, put, if you take 10 and we convert that into minutes, which is 50, we get 50 plus 30 over 5, which is equal to 80 over 5, which is 16. We don't have a 16 on this clock. 16 is just too high. But... If we subtract 12 from this, we get to 4, which is the correct answer. This formula calculated for the left-hand side is, so if we take 10, we add 30, so we have to go 6 to the other side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it took 6 from 10. That's why it calculates 16 instead of 4. So if we subtract this equation by 12, we will get the correct answer. So our second equation is m plus 30 over 5 minus 12. Since we have two equations, we have to put into a piecewise function. So we have h of m equal to the piecewise function. So when m is less than or equal to 30, we use the first equation, which is m plus 30 over 5. If m is greater than 30, we have to the second equation, so m greater than 30, comma, m plus 30 over 5 minus 12. So now let's pl plug in a random m value to find where the hour hand will be. So let's plug in 47 in between 9 and 10. H of 47. Because 47 is greater than 30, we use the second equation. So 47 plus 30 over 5 minus 12. 47 plus 30 is 77 over 5 minus 12. So this is 15.4 minus 12, which is 3.4. This three point this point 0.4 means that it's point 0.4 in between 3 and 4. So if the middle of 3 and 4 is 3.5, then 3.4 is just above, so it's right here, 3.4 approximately. So if the hour hand is at 47, 45, 46, 47, right here, the minute hand will be right here. This is how you solve this question. So you have to make two equations and put into a piecewise function. So these are the two equations. 